Hello everyone, this is Hannah, and we are going to talk about how to use Google Sheets to build a graph. So the first thing to remember about graphs is that a graph is meant to be a visual summary of your data. If I wanted to know every single piece of information that you collected in an experiment, I would look at your data table because data tables, like the one you're seeing right now, are meant to be thorough and contain loads of information. A graph, on the other hand, is meant to summarize all of this information at a single glance. So with a graph, we're not going to have, you know, 18 bars for every single piece of information. What we really want to do is think about what are the key bits that I want to get across. So here I had an experiment where we had students and those students were running and they were hopping and we measured their velocity doing both. So the two pieces of information that I really care about are I was comparing their velocity when they were running and their velocity when they were hopping. So that's the stuff I care about. And I'm just gonna copy those headers and sort of set them off to the side here. These are the two things that I want to be bars on my graph. And I'm gonna have them down along with the labels that are gonna go on those two bars. So the next thing I wanna think about is what piece of information do I want graphed? So here, I'm gonna build a, a graph with two bars. One bar is gonna show the velocity of these kids running. The other bar is gonna show the velocity of these kids hopping. And you can see I had 18 different students, each of which had a different velocity running and a different velocity hopping. But we took that information and we got an average, right? The average is a great way of summarizing a whole bunch of similar pieces of data. So underneath the header for velocity running that I've set off to the side here, I'm gonna say, well, how high do I wanna make that bar? And I wanna make that bar the average. So that was 3.42 meters per second. So I'm gonna double click on that box to type in 3.42. And that will be their velocity running. So that's gonna be the height of that bar. For the velocity hopping, I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. So that will be 1.86 was their average velocity hopping. So I'm using the averages here because that's a good summary of the data. So in order to build the graph, before I even get started, I need to have the headers for what I'm gonna label each of these bars. So I'm gonna have one bar for running, one bar for hopping, and the numbers that represent how high I want those bars to be. Then I'm gonna select all those boxes. So again, like I clicked on one box, I'm gonna grab that little blue circle at the bottom, drag it down and over so I have highlighted the things that I want to actually go on my graph. Do not highlight the entire data table. If you do that, it will build you a graph that has a thousand different pieces of information on it and it will be impossible to read and totally useless. Once I have this information highlighted, I'm gonna look in the upper right hand corner where there's a plus sign. I'm gonna click that plus, that's to insert something, and what I wanna insert is a chart. Now for most of the data that we're gonna use, we need to think about what type of graph we wanna use, and we're gonna select column. So to get here under type, right now it's set to line chart. I'm gonna click on that and select column, and that will turn this into a nice bar graph. Now, if you look at this, you can see this bar graph actually has none of the things that we said were important in a graph. It does not have a title. It does not have a horizontal axis label or a vertical axis label. Um, these bars could represent absolutely anything. So we need to back out of that, and now we need to make a few changes. The most important thing you need to do is go to where it says titles, and we need to name each of these things. So the chart title, needs to be something that describes this entire graph. What am I looking at when I look at this? So here we're looking at the velocity of students. Make it descriptive. Um, and you can see once I put that in, it appears on my graph. For my horizontal axis title, remember horizontal is the one that goes in a line. Um, that's gonna be something that both of these bars represent. So I had one bar, for running, one bar for hopping, those are both types of movement. So let me put that in and update the title. And now you can see I have the type of movement on the horizontal axis label 
And then I need my vertical axis label. So on my vertical axis label, I'm going to say, well, what were these numbers? What I actually measured there was these students' velocity. And in particular, it's their velocity as measured in meters per second. So that's very important. Make sure that you always include the units on the vertical or Y axis. And I hit update title there. This is starting to look a lot better. There's one more thing I want you to do. I really like it when the legend is right beneath the bars because then it's very obvious which bar represents what. So I'm going to make a slight change here. Currently it's set to legend right and I'm going to click that and say, no, nah, put those labels beneath each bar and that should make your bar graph look a lot nicer. Once I've done this, I can hit the check in the upper left hand corner and now I have a beautiful graph of my data. Um, you can click on the graph and move it around your sheets by clicking and holding. Uh, if you needed to say put this into a uh, Google Doc because you were doing a lab report or something, you could take a screenshot of it and then crop that screenshot down to include just the graph and pop that right into a lab report.